And then I left my coffee over here. All right, I am so excited because my cottage is warm in the morning. So I haven't done my hair and makeup, just wanted to get started because I wanted to give you a peek into one of the new barn quilts. So if you don't know me, my name is Trisha Andresen and I am unstoppable. Seriously, I lay up at night in the pursuit of helping you unlock your strength, your joy, your faith, your happiness within yourself using art and creative expression and even some writing and doodling. So let's get started. All right. You ready to look behind me? Oh, 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 oh. look at this. Can you see that? Is this awesome or what? And look at the designs, the design that's going to go all around it. So this is a play on the carpenter's wheel. I may name it something totally different, but anyways, this is what we're starting. For those of y'all who've watched my videos, you know that my shoulder is a little messed up and I'm waiting to hear back on an MRI, but I can share with you by putting this down and I thought you could paint with me for a few minutes. So number one, if you are want to take some notes, people ask me all the time, how do I get my barn quilt ready to display outside? And it's so funny because on groups, people will say over and over their tried and true tips. But I will tell you in North Carolina and my, mine being displayed in the weather full time, what my tried and true tips are for me. So number one is, yes, it is thick, but let me get it down so you can look at the label, okay? This is Titebond Ultimate Exterior Waterproof Glue. And in the moisture or in the heat, it does not get wet. This is what people use for like, picnic tables and Adirondack chairs. All right. So this works. It is awesome. Okay. All right. So what I do first of all is I put it on a little, you know, paper plate and I squeeze it out. And then either you can take a brush or your finger and this edge in between right here, you're going to seal all the way around it with the tight bond exterior glue. Okay. I would like you to do it before you start painting. All right. Because if you do it after, then it can come over top of your paint and be a little yellow. And I don't want that to happen for you. Okay. So you're only going to have to take a couple of minutes and do that and it will dry fast. So while you're getting your paint colors together or you're pulling up my swatch, like if you buy a kit or something like that, then um, that's what you can, you know, do right there, okay? So, by the way, I wanted to make sure that you know about that, okay, because it is expiring this weekend. Okay, then number two, you're going to take the tight bond exterior wood glue, okay? Got to watch my shoulder here. And, yes, that is thick, right? But you can use a brush, but for y'all who are my friends, y'all know that I love finger painting, so I actually just massage it in on the back of my board really good. And I have a wet towel to wipe my fingers. No big deal. This is really fun. I think it's therapeutic to use your hands anyways. All right. So I'll take the tight bond. I'll do the back and I'll do the edges and it dries. Okay. Then I will paint. I'm going to continue on with the sealing process because people ask me all the time, and I think that's their biggest fear of, can I do this or not? Okay. Then what I do is after the painting is done, I use a water-based polycrylic. There is a spar urethane and there is a polycrylic brand. Okay. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as you use the water-based because we want to keep this white all oh, pretty. And if you use an oil-based, it will make it yellow, okay? So I do use a brush or a foam brush, and I do have videos on YouTube. So if you have not 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do that. Happy life and art.com. Go there now. I need your support. Okay. And um, this is where I will then brush the polycrylic on the front and I will brush the polycrylic on the back. Now, when you go to the, um, the store or you buy it, you know, through my Amazon link or wherever that you decide to do it, it'll say that it's for interior, but I will tell you, I, talk and work with a lot of artists and they will use polycrylic for outdoors and it works awesome okay so i just wanted to let you know that is the scoop on sealing your barn quilt okay so i really loved i have a series and i don't know if i should name them you know like i did the hope and prayer for america series I don't know if I should do a stained glass series. Love to know your thoughts. I have a few designs where I have these thick lines in between the actual designs themselves. And um, I've been doing white to give it like a stained glass look. Um, but it's just pretty, you know. Somebody literally the other day said, oh, is that stained glass? And I'm like, no, actually it's, it's a painted barn quilt. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. So I, in my, um, in my kits that I send you, I'll usually send you two flat brushes. Okay. Like this. And that works fine. But what I'm finding is when someone orders one of these that has the, the littler lines in between, I'm going to go ahead and send you a detailed brush. Okay. And when you order the paint kit and stuff, you'll do, you know, you'll, you'll have the paints from me. But this is where the benefit of the detail brush comes in. Now, if we zoomed in really close, you would see that I've colored some outside of the line. People will ask me, do you tape? I'm like, no, I don't tape. Because here's the scoop. You can paint over it, y'all. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to get the perfect lines. And from a distance, it's going to look beautiful. So please don't let yourself get stressed out going, oh my gosh, my line is not perfect. I have people from all ages that do this and I wanted to keep it simple for you. So this is why I have the paint by line. I might be one of the only ones out there that have paint by line barn quilts. And you can have these elaborate, beautiful designs without spending all this time trying to use... Um, rulers and all of that and of course some of y'all like it that's a part of your your fun right is is drawing them up and i totally get that but if you like some of these designs let me do some of the work for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over i'm going to have um the white all the way around this and then you know keep going so i just wanted to share this with you this is a short video um, hopefully you learned a lot about the ceiling and I'm going to take it easy because I'm going to do this in stages. So I do not end up on ice on my shoulder all day. <laughs> all right. But please let me pay your shipping for you. Please let me pay it. Um, go to gofindyourhappy.com, order your barn quilt this weekend because I have limited inventory on these prices prices are going to be going up i hate that but the wood prices have gone up y'all since covid the wood prices i mean if you walk through the aisles at lowe's or home depot um you see the cost of wood and it's gone up so i have inventory here of barn quilts and once i go through that inventory then i will have to go up on the cost just because i'm paying for the cost too so Take advantage of my inventory and take advantage of my free shipping. This is going to be the best deal that you get for the whole year. All right. Um, if you like this one, make sure you message me because I do not have this one up yet. If you're like Trisha, I love that. Um, just say carpenter wheel design and I will know what you're talking about or just message me if you're like, hey, you did this design or whatever. Okay. 
All right. So there we go. You're going to see me do some other videos later on um, art journaling and mixed media and collage papers. So we're going to have a lot of fun. All right. So get your barn quilts ready. Spruce up that yard. It's getting springtime. I'm so excited. We can walk around and see all of our pretty, pretty stuff. All right. Have a great morning. I love you and appreciate y'all. All right. See ya. Bye.